Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of a unified China, ruled with an iron fist from 221 to 210 BCE. His reign is often remembered for monumental achievements such as the initial construction of the Great Wall of China and the standardization of currency, weights, and measures. Yet, beyond these accomplishments, he was consumed by one obsession, the quest for immortality. Qin Shi Huang had always been driven by a singular vision. Unifying China under his rule was just the beginning. Deep-seated within him was a profound fear of death. The thought of his grand empire outlasting him filled him with unease. Driven by his relentless pursuit of eternal life, the emperor summoned alchemists, magicians, and scholars from all corners of his empire. He ordered them to concoct elixirs and potions, promising riches and power to anyone who could offer a solution to his inevitable mortality. Many claim to have found the secret, presenting the emperor with various potions and remedies. These so-called elixirs often contained dangerous substances like mercury and arsenic. Fueled by hope and desperation, Qin Shi Huang consumed these harmful concoctions, believing they would grant him eternal life. Instead, they eroded his health, leading to paranoia and erratic behavior. Not ones to dismiss the emperor's orders lightly, envoys were also dispatched to far-off lands in search of the fabled Isles of Immortals, mythical places believed to hold the secret to everlasting life. The most notable of these expeditions was led by Su Fu, a trusted court sorcerer who set out with ships filled with hundreds of young men and women. They were never seen again, lost to the annals of history. As the years passed, Qin Shi Huang's obsession deepened. In the twilight of his reign, Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first to unify China, became increasingly obsessed with immortality. Desiring eternal dominion over his empire, he commissioned a monumental mausoleum to be constructed in the Lintong district of Shangxi province. This was no ordinary burial site. It was an architectural marvel intended to replicate the splendor of his kingdom. As laborers toiled day and night under the strictest secrecy, intricate palaces sprung from the ground, their walls adorned with the finest jade and gold. Scenic towers dotted the landscape, serving as eternal watchtowers over his colossal empire, now recreated in miniature. The craftsmen even sculpted entire landscapes, glittering rivers of mercury, fields studded with precious gemstones, and mountains of gold. In the heart of this underground empire, a vast army of terracotta warriors stood guard, each figure uniquely detailed to mirror the real soldiers who had once served Qin Shi Huang. These clay sentinels, accompanied by terracotta horses, chariots, and weaponry, were designed to protect and serve their emperor in the afterlife. As Qin Shi Huang drew his final breath, the entrance to the mausoleum was sealed, locking away secrets that would remain buried for centuries. Yet, even in death, the legacy of the emperor lived on, hidden beneath the earth, a testament to his unyielding desire for eternal power. This grand tomb, a symbol of his earthly empire, also stood as a stark reminder of his unquenchable ambition and belief in his own divinity. In 1974, a group of farmers in Shangxi Province, China, made a discovery that would astonish the world. As they dug a well, they stumbled upon fragments of clay figures, leading to the unveiling of one of the greatest archaeological finds of the 20th century, the Terracotta Army. Situated near the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, this subterranean legion was crafted over 2,000 years ago to accompany and protect the emperor in his afterlife. The Terracotta Army is a testament to the might and resources of Qin Shi Huang's empire. More than 8,000 life-sized figures of soldiers, horses, and chariots have been unearthed, each one a unique creation. The figures are arranged in battle formation, reflecting the organization and discipline of a real army. Standing silently, 
these clay warriors are equipped with actual weapons and dressed in detailed armor. Their facial features are strikingly individualistic, suggesting that they may have been modeled after real soldiers of the time. This vast production was achieved through a combination of assembly line techniques and artistry, involving thousands of workers including potters, craftsmen, and laborers. The sheer number and diversity of the figures highlight the sophisticated and centralized bureaucracy of the Qin dynasty. Excavations continue to this day, revealing more about the complexities and ambitions of Qin Shi Huang's rule. The Terracotta Army not only symbolizes the military prowess of the era, but also provides invaluable insights into the culture, technological advancements, and artistry of ancient China. These silent sentinels continue to guard the memory of their emperor, standing as eternal guardians in the story of human civilization. Yet, the true centerpiece of the mausoleum remains hidden beneath a great pyramid-shaped mound. According to ancient texts, the emperor's tomb lies at the heart of this vast underground complex, surrounded by unimaginable wealth. Legend has it that the burial chamber is filled with rivers of mercury, representing the rivers of China, and guarded by deadly traps designed to kill anyone who dares to disturb the emperor's eternal rest. Archaeologists and adventurers have speculated about the precise location and treasures within for centuries. Few have ever dared to venture close, deterred by the ominous warnings and treacherous terrain. The stories of lost souls who sought the riches but never returned only added to the legend's allure and danger. Among these brave souls, there once lived an ambitious archaeologist named Dr. Mei Lang. Driven by a blend of scholarly curiosity and the thrill of adventure, Dr. Lang studied ancient manuscripts and consulted with local historians, piecing together clues that suggested a hidden entrance within a seemingly ordinary hill. With a team of dedicated researchers and state-of-the-art equipment, she embarked on an expedition to uncover the secrets buried beneath. As they dug deeper, they encountered intricate passageways lined with ancient symbols and traps that had been dormant for millennia. Each step was fraught with peril, testing the team's resolve and intellect. After many grueling weeks, they finally reached what they believed to be the entrance to the burial chamber. The air was thick with anticipation and the faint scent of metal hinted at the presence of mercury. Dr. Lang's hands trembled with both excitement and fear as she began to decipher the final sequence of symbols on the massive stone door. One wrong move could spell doom for the entire team, but with a deep breath and steadied nerves, she carefully manipulated the ancient mechanism. Slowly, the door creaked open, revealing a breathtaking sight. Beyond lay the fabled burial chamber, lit by the flickering glow of mercury streams flowing around intricately carved statues. The room was a testament to the emperor's grandeur and the lengths he'd gone to protect his legacy. Yet, as Dr. Lang stepped forward, a hidden pressure plate triggered, and the team heard the sound of gears grinding into motion. Deadly arrows shot out from concealed slits in the walls, narrowly missing them. Heart pounding, Dr. Lang yelled for everyone to take cover. The traps, still as deadly as the day they were set, would not allow easy access to the emperor's final resting place. Surrounded by unimaginable wealth and imminent danger, Dr. Lang knew that their journey had only just begun. The real challenge was not just finding the tomb, but surviving its numerous perils to unravel the mysteries of the past. Amidst the rolling hills of China's ancient Qin province, whispered tales of an untold treasure persisted through centuries. These tales spoke of the Golden Death Chamber, an opulent tomb housing the vast wealth of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, encased in gold and jewels within a sprawling subterranean kingdom. Few believed the stories, dismissing them as folklore, but an adventurous archaeologist, Dr. Mei Lin, felt an unshakable pull towards these legends. Dr. Lin was known for her relentless pursuit of truth hidden within ancient mysteries. Her keen intellect and innovative methods had earned her respect in academic circles. When she stumbled upon an old manuscript referencing the Golden Death Chamber, 
her curiosity ignited. The manuscript described an intricate map, suggesting the precise location of the tomb. With her heart pounding and mind racing, Dr. Lin knew she had to unravel this enigma. Gathering a team of trusted experts, she embarked on the perilous journey deep into the heart of the Qin province. The dense forest and treacherous terrain tested their resolve, but after weeks of enduring the elements, they arrived at the purported site. The faint outline of an ancient structure emerged beneath layers of earth and vegetation. As they excavated, the entrance to a grand underground passageway, adorned with faded murals and inscriptions, was revealed. The air grew heavy with anticipation and the faint scent of forgotten incense lingered. Each step forward was a step back in time. The passageway opened into a vast chamber. What they encountered took their breath away. Walls encrusted with gemstones and golden panels reflected torchlight, creating a dazzling display of opulence. At the chamber's center lay a grand sarcophagus, intricately engraved with scenes of the emperor's life and conquests. But the true brilliance of the golden death chamber was not solely in its wealth. Traps and mechanisms, designed with diabolical precision, guarded the treasure. Pressure plates, hidden darts, and shifting walls lay in wait for the unwary. With every move, Dr. Lin and her team had to navigate the ancient security system, deciphering clues from the inscriptions. It was a delicate dance between life and death. After what felt like an eternity, they stood before the sarcophagus. As Dr. Lin carefully pried open the lid, a golden glow enveloped the room. Treasures beyond imagination lay within, alongside the preserved remains of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. The sense of achievement was overwhelming. They had discovered a piece of history that would change the world. However, as the team celebrated their find, a low rumble echoed through the chamber. The ancient mechanisms had been triggered. The ground beneath them began to shift. We need to get out now, Dr. Lin shouted. In the shadow of the mighty Qin dynasty, a massive mausoleum was being constructed to house the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. The emperor, obsessed with immortality and power, sought to create a final resting place that would reflect his grandeur. Thousands of artisans and laborers toiled day and night, carving intricate details into the walls, burying treasures, and crafting the iconic terracotta army to guard his spirit in the afterlife. Among the workers was Li Wei, a master craftsman renowned for his skill in sculpting lifelike statues. Li Wei had been conscripted into this monumental project, leaving behind his family and life in a distant village. As work progressed, Li began to hear whispers among his fellow laborers, rumors that the emperor planned a sinister fate for them. One fateful evening, after another grueling day, Li noticed the overseers were unusually tense and secretive. An ominous feeling settled over the construction site. That night, Li confided in his close friend Zhang, sharing his fears about the emperor's rumored intentions. Zhang dismissed the notions as mere tales born of exhaustion and paranoia. Yet the next day, as the tomb neared completion, the atmosphere grew even more oppressive. Then, without warning, guards began sealing the entrances, desperate cries filling the air. It became clear that the rumors had been true. Despair turned to panic as the workers realized they were being buried alive with the treasures they had created to secure the tomb's secrets until the end of time. Amidst the chaos, Li Wei and a small group of artisans attempted to escape. They used their tools in a frantic bid to dig through the walls, hoping against hope to find a way out. Despite its allure, the tomb of Qin Shi Huang has never been opened. Modern archaeologists are hesitant to disturb the site, not only because of the potential historical damage, but also due to concerns about the rumored traps and high levels of mercury. Tests conducted in the area have indeed found elevated mercury concentrations, adding credence to the ancient accounts. The tomb, resting under a vast mound near Xi'an, 
China, is surrounded by thousands of terracotta soldiers. While the soldiers themselves have been extensively studied, the central chamber remains untouched. According to Sima Qian, the ancient historian, the tomb contained palaces, scenic towers, and rivers of mercury to simulate the universe. Rumors of deadly traps and an intricate network of hidden doors designed to thwart grave robbers have kept many at bay. In recent years, technology has offered non-invasive methods of exploration, like ground-penetrating radar and remote sensing technology. These techniques have provided tantalizing hints of what lies within, without disturbing the earth. Still, the debate rages on. Should we open the tomb and risk damaging an untouched piece of history, or should we leave it sealed, preserving its mysteries for future generations and advanced methods? The Qin Shi Huang tomb stands as a paradox, a clash of ancient lore and modern caution, a symbol of humanity's quest to balance knowledge and preservation. In the annals of history, few mysteries have captivated the imagination of scholars and explorers as much as the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. His reign, marked by innovation and ruthless consolidation of power, set the foundation for the future of China. However, it is his final resting place that has given rise to endless speculation, blending historical fact with rich legend. Constructed over 2,200 years ago, Qin Shi Huang's burial chamber is part of an elaborate necropolis, hidden beneath a vast mound in the Lintong district of Xi'an, China. The site is famously guarded by the life-size terracotta army, thousands of clay soldiers, horses, and chariots standing in silent vigilance. Discovered in 1974 by local farmers, this army has since become one of the most significant archaeological finds of the 20th century. Yet, as fascinating as the terracotta army is, it is but a prelude to the greater mystery that lies deeper underground. According to historical texts, particularly the records of the Grand Historian by Sima Qian, the tomb itself is a marvel of ancient engineering and luxury, rumored to contain palaces and scenic towers for viewing the outside world, along with rare artifacts and treasures. Sima Qian describes a subterranean world where mercury rivers flow, manipulated by intricate mechanical systems to mimic the natural waterways of China, and where the ceiling is adorned with pearls to represent the stars. This account, while tantalizing, remains unverified as modern archaeology has yet to penetrate the central burial vault. The primary reason for this cautious approach is the high levels of mercury detected in the soil around the tomb, lending credence to Sima Qian's descriptions but also posing significant risks to excavation efforts. Furthermore, respecting the cultural and spiritual significance of the tomb has been paramount, leading Chinese authorities to opt for preservation rather than desecration. Thus, the tomb of Qin Shi Huang continues to elude definitive exploration. It stands as a silent testament to the grandeur and enigma of ancient China, inviting us to ponder what marvels and secrets remain sealed away, awaiting a time when they might finally be unveiled. Until then, the story of Qin Shi Huang's burial chamber remains one of history's greatest and most tantalizing mysteries. The tomb's secrecy is further compounded by the sheer scale of the entire burial complex. Covering an area of over 56 square kilometers, the mausoleum was a project of enormous magnitude, involving thousands of workers and years of construction. Its scale reflects the emperor's ambition, as well as his fear of death and desire for immortality. Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, sought to create a burial place that would guarantee his power in the afterlife. The mausoleum's construction began shortly after he ascended to the throne, and it continued through his reign, engaging a workforce that included soldiers, prisoners, and skilled craftsmen. The underground palace, part of the extensive structure, is said to contain rivers of mercury, flowing to symbolize the great rivers of China, designed to protect the emperor in his afterlife. Surrounding his tomb, over 8,000 terracotta warriors stand in silent formation, 
each unique in features and attire, intended to guard him against any threats in the world beyond. The tomb's intricate design and the advanced techniques used in its construction reflect the peak of Qin Dynasty engineering and artistry. However, this grandeur comes at a cost. Many workers perished during the project, buried within the walls they built, adding layers of enigma and tragedy to the emperor's final resting place. Despite numerous archaeological efforts, the tomb remains unopened, preserved in secrecy, possibly to respect the ancient traditions or due to the toxins like mercury reported to be inside. The quest to unravel its mysteries continues to intrigue historians and archaeologists alike, symbolizing a time when emperors believed they could conquer not just the world, but death itself. Beneath the rolling hills of Xi'an lies one of the greatest mysteries of ancient China, the tomb of Qin Shi Huang. For millennia, scholars and adventurers alike have been captivated by what might lie within the mausoleum of China's first emperor. Constructed over 2,000 years ago, it is said to be a microcosmic universe, a sprawling subterranean complex reflecting the might and ingenuity of an emperor who unified China through sheer force of will and meticulous planning. The discovery of the Terracotta Army in 1974 only added to the allure, its 8,000 life-sized soldiers standing as eternal guardians for their ruler. Despite the advancements in archaeological technology, the tomb itself remains unexplored due to the intricate traps and high levels of mercury rumored to protect it. Yet these very dangers only add to the intrigue, suggesting that Qin Shi Huang was determined to safeguard his secrets, treasures, and legacy indefinitely. Whether it holds vast riches or eternal wisdom, the tomb's contents continue to inspire theories and legends. Until the day the tomb is breached, it will stand as a monument to human ambition and the ceaseless quest for immortality.